Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. There's a place in Nigeria that. All right, so I showed you all a few shots on the way here in the Uber. Now I crossed state lines, so I'm now, I came to the beautiful state of Maryland to come to this coin shop that I found online on Google. And let me show you a shot of it. Woo! That looks like an awesome place. Gold and silver coins, Liberty. Are you there? Let's go in there and see what I can find, folks. All right, guys, just got out of that shop. Unfortunately, the owner didn't want me to film in there, which I understand. Some owners are cool with it, some aren't. But, ladies and gentlemen, in the land of disaster, death, destruction, and $25 American silver eagles, I found a deal. Yes, I did it, folks. I got a bunch of cool silver. I might have got some gold, and I might have gotten some of it at spot price. So, I'm going to head up the road here in this beautiful town find somewhere to sit down and let's see what i got all right guys i can't film too much here because of copyright but i'm trying soul let's go all right i made it back to my airbnb and it is the next day um after i ate i'm like oh there's a walmart near here i need to go there to get a coffee grinder because if you remember the coffee i got from my favorite coffee company maybe we'll do another video on that um sent me Great coffee, but there were beans and I needed a grinder. So anyways, um, I found out there was a Walmart, Super Walmart, um, 1.1 miles from where I was eating. I checked for the next Uber. It was like 20 minutes away. So I said, forget it, I'll just walk it. So I walked the mile, 1.1 miles to Walmart, but it was extremely hot. So I got like super hot, super overheated. Um, <laughs> Got to Walmart, got the stuff, got home, then I had a killer headache, drank a bunch of water, went to sleep. So, this is the first time I'm opening this from the LCS, so let's see what we got, folks. And <clears throat> I'm very happy with the purchases. <coughs> let's just take a closer look at it. I spent exactly $1,000 on the nose, and the reason I did that is <clears throat> I found out when I was visiting Maryland, this LCS to go, or... Maryland to go to this LCS, that if you spend over a thousand or one thousand dollars or more, it's tax free. So I spent right at a thousand dollars to get it tax free. So I got this one grammar, Pamp Swiss. He sold this to me for sixty five bucks, which at the time was like nine dollars over spot. But I checked out eBay and they were going in this the seventies. So I'm like, okay, that's a good deal. So we got this one grammar from Pamp Gold. I got this Wall Street Mint bar. Now, the only Wall Street Mint I'd seen was with that Cityscape. So I wasn't sure about this one. It looks and feels old. So I thought I'd take a shot at it. Just looking at it, having not seen it before, I thought it could possibly be something very special. So let me know about this, guys, if you know anything about it. I got this for $235, bucks, which equals $23.50 per ounce. Usually I wouldn't want to pay that much, but with spot how it is, American Silver Eagles going for $25 to $30, and even some places selling average um, generic rounds for $25 a pop, I thought that was a good deal. So let me know about this bar. Was it a good take? I don't know. So, so far, I, I like it, though. I really like how it looks, and it looks really old. As a matter of fact, this case, and it almost feels like it's PVC, so I might end up taking it out of this and putting it in airtight, pending your guys' feedback. And then I got a bunch of world silver, and everything else I got at spot. And I actually got a little of it, this stuff right here, um, right under spot. So let's see what we got. So this is all the 80%. And there's some very cool stuff in here. So, like, maybe let me zoom in here. And let's see. So, we'll go for the big stuff first. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. So, I got stuff like this. Which, this is a peso. So, this is Mexican, I guess. Uh, Oh, Dominicana. So, this might be the Dominican Republic. 
Okay, so I got one of those. So Dominican Republic. Wow, I got all, oh wow, we got some, ladies and gentlemen, we got some killer stuff in here. Now let me say I really enjoyed the LCS, unfortunately I couldn't film in there, but I greatly enjoyed it, super nice gentleman in there. Um, this is a Canadian silver dollar, so I'll add this to my bag. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what we got going on here. So Canadian silver dollar. Uh, this looks like another, yeah, goose dollar. So the Canadian silver dollars, the goose ones are my favorite. These are in great shape. Uh, this is the third variant of a Canadian silver dollar. Canoe. And this all should be 80% in here. If we find something that's not 80%, I'm not going to hold it against them. When you're dealing with these world coins, guys, stuff can slip through. It's just the name of the game. Because every percentage he has to weigh and convert, it's a pain. So I'm not going to complain if something's wrong. Okay, Bahama Islands. Wow. That's super cool. Canadian. Also, too, guys, make sure to double check. Now, fortunately, he was doing his math and checking it, and I was checking it, and we found a mistake in the math that would have resulted in a $200 difference. Now, he did not do it on purpose, and he was actually the one who caught it, um, but whenever you're doing multiple conversions, make sure to run through it at least twice, and it's not bad. You can totally check it yourself. People will not get offended, and if they get offended, you shouldn't be shopping there, but this gentleman was totally open to it, did not mind I was checking it, and because of that, it helped him to catch something that was an issue, and I saved a bunch of money. So that could have sucked, but he made it right. But that's just the moral of the story. Another Bahama. That is sick. Of why it's so important to check. Double and triple. Look at this. 34. Panama. Wow. Look at that. That is, that is cool. What is this? 1948. Oh, this is an old Mexican coin. Okay. Let's go to the next size coin. I'm kind of sorting this to see what we got. And there's some, you know, usually when you get 80%, guys, it's just a bunch of um, Canadian silver from what I find. And again, I got this all spot, but it looks like there's definitely some cool stuff in here. So let's see what we got. So that's Canadian. I guess like a 50 cent piece or something. I don't know. Oh, Cuban. This is my second Cuban silver, 1920, and this one is in great shape. I have only one of those, so that's awesome. Uh, Balboa. So this is going to be Panama. Yep. So I'll put that there. Un Limpira. Honduras. My first Honduras silver. Wow, this is a major... Oh, Honduras again. I'm really glad I made this purchase, guys. Another goose dollar. Another Honduran. My first Honduras silver. Man, back in the day when everything was silver, guys. Gosh dang it. What has happened to the world? Another Honduran. And look at this. Another different Panamanian coin. Super cool. Um... Let's just get a bunch of this. Most of this is going to be Canadian. So I guess we'll do a Canadian pile over here since it's going to be significant. Oh, oh wow, there's some cool stuff in here, guys. I'm seeing some really cool stuff. Do not go anywhere. You know what? Matter of fact, some of this looks mega. Some more Honduras. Uh, it's Canadian. I guess like they're half dollar. I guess. Um, Canadian, Canadian, Canadian. Ooh, that is, okay. We got some cool stuff. That looks Canadian, Canadian, Canadian. Some more Canadian. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff in here, folks. Canada, Canada, Canada. Oh, yeah. We got some very cool stuff in here. Just quickly pulling out all the Canadian. 
since again, when you're in the 80% silver, that's the majority of what you're gonna find. But looks like we got some very cool stuff here coming up in a second. Wow. I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay. And you know, don't be afraid to speak up and ask for stuff, you know, at spot. When we we're talking about the price of this stuff, you know, at first it was a little bit higher than what I wanted. It was like well above spot. And I was like, well, usually for the stuff I, I pay spot price, wait. I was like, you know, I know most shops want to get rid of it and can't. And then he worked with me. We made a deal. So you can't blame shop owners for trying to get as much as they can. But what sets them apart is when they're willing to wheel and deal and work with you. And also too, guys, I was trying not to negotiate too hard because I realized like coin shops, just like everyone else, have been shut down for months. And I know for some people it might be the only source of income. So I was really trying to be mindful of that and not push too hard for deals, although he gave me an amazing deal. If you get what I'm saying, let me know in the comments below if you agree, agree with that assertion. You know, at the end of the day, we're all Americans dealing with a very tough time. And last thing I want to do is something to, you know, hurt somebody in terms of their business. All right, so I'm about to show you a bunch of very cool coins. Looks like we sorted most of the Canadian. Like, that stuff's Canadian. Canadian, 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 Canadian. Canadian bacon. That's a felony in Saudi Arabia. All right, we have a little bit more Canadian here, and then we're going to get to some cool stuff. So that's cool. So that's Canadian, 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 not Canadian. Canadian. <clears throat> oh, Mama Sita. Okay, that's all Canadian. Okay, let me show you some of this cool stuff we got here. So now we can put this out a little bit more. Let's flip that one over. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, Canadian slipped through. So, we got this. What the heck is this? Shilling. Looks to be British Empire. But I'm not sure. I see shillings. Oh, island? What? 1941 Seward? I don't know. I have to figure out what that is. What is that, guys? Canadian. A few Canadians slipped through the character. Oh, wow. That looks German. Cool. One Deutschmark. And when you buy it by the weight, you don't get cheated when there's holes in it. Ooh, another Balboa, so Panama. Another Panama. Ooh. Can't wait. Kandrin province? Quintung province? What is this? What in the world? Nicaragua, 1928. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is it the Quang Tong province again? Quang Tong. That might be something very cool. That's Canadian. That all looks Canadian. Wow. Some more of the Balboa type thing. Wow, wow, wow. I almost feel like I need to stop this in live stream. 
Some more Cuban coins. Balboa. Who Balboa? A little baby Balboa? A bigger Balboa? One shilling. So I think that's British. Straight up British. Uh. Oh, another Cuban coin. Very cool. Canadian. Canadian bacon. Another one of these Asian ones. Is it Quang Tang province again? Quang whatever. Quang Jung. Ooh, really nice Cuban coin. And is this going to be German? Ecuador. Huh, I was way off. I saw the five. I thought it was like a five mark or something. I'm very happy about that Cuban silver. Okay, so I got to do this in a way not to mix everything up. I think what I'm gonna do here. Push the Canadian all the way back here. Because I think what I'm gonna do is after I film this video, I'll go live and just give a quick summary because people were waiting from yesterday before I died of heat stroke. <laughs> The little one offs down here. All right. Now I'll quickly show you guys the 10% silver. And I have a plan for these. It's all Spanish, uh, Mexican, I should say. So I believe I got 29 of these and I got them a little under spot, which was cool of the gentleman. 10% silver, pretty cool. I mean, I usually never buy the 10% silver just because I don't want to deal with it, but he gave me a good deal. And I was thinking it could be mega in the future. You know, we can play a game or do some metal detecting or something with it. So I went for it. So that's the 10%. So you're 64% silver. And again, I'm not going to freak out if some of it's not quite what it's supposed to be. So let's not freak out about that too much. Pain to figure all this out. Uh, this is all Netherlands. But if something has a different content and you know it for a fact, please let me know. Um, so it'll be easier for me later. So that's Netherlands silver, 64%. 60% silver. Piestas. Oh, Lebanon. Shufi, Mafi, Mafi, she. My first Lebanese silver, and that is cool. And you guys, I've been to Lebanon. I could have totally probably bought silver there, and I was not a stacker at the time. What a freaking idiot. Ten cents. What is this? Oh, Emperor of India. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is 83.3. Woo! Oh, it's a cleaned Taller. You guys know I love the Towlers. So I got that at spot. Epic. That is actually a really good deal. You're getting that. That's a good pull at spot. Good pull at spot for that. Okay. And here's the gentleman here. Check him out. Super cool spot. Ooh, what is this? So this is 50% silver, supposedly. Bermuda crown. Okay. So we'll go like this. I'm trying to keep them on their bags. Canadian. I'll have to check if there's a difference between. That might just be in the wrong thing. Uh, half crown. Oh, very cool. British silver. The British? Nineteen twenty-eight crown. I feel like that's more than fifty percent silver. Check that. I, I think I have a feeling. And then two of these. Maybe these are eighty percent. They got mixed in. 
I'll figure that out at the end here. Next we're doing 83.5. That's crazy. Couldn't it, like countries just pick, all pick the same percentage? Ooh. This is Turkish. That looks like Turkish. And that's Islamic, but also looks Turkish. I think this is Turkish. Yeah, Turkey. Wow. My first Turkish coin. It's not that heavy. Okay, this is going to be... Um, Frank. Is it French? Frank? French? I believe it's French, but part of me wants to say that that's Swiss, but I think it's French. I think all this. Republic. What the heck? This one's different. Republic something so maybe this is for one of their colonies whoa maybe that one went through a fire with a raid that was the worst coin i just saw so all these are in surprisingly good shape for how old they are venezuela cool i have some venezuelan silver and sad what's going on down there, guys. If you had some silver in Venezuela, you can buy a bunch of uh, groceries and stuff. Ooh, Canadian. That's probably mixed in by mistake. Okay. It's all French. What's this? A little more Venezuelan. I think that is mixed in by mistake. Nineteen oh six, very good shape. Vittorio Emanuele. Vittorio Emanuele. Is this a uh, Italian? Oh, de Italia. Uh, it is Italian. I just had a feeling it was Italian. Okay. Try to get a better shot here. It's a long video, guys, but it's super cool. This is supposed to be 65% silver. Oh, my gosh. Portuguese. I like the Portuguese. I love that ship. And Queen Anne's Revenge is really popular right now, and it's kind of that style. What is it? Portuguese. Oh, with a bridge on it. So it's a near 166. And here's another older one. All these, unfortunately, all these Portuguese coins I get with these ships are super worn. So I think the way that they were created is just not conducive to um, wear, unfortunately. This is all 75%, supposedly. Peso, 35. It's Mexico. Okay. Cool. Un peso. Okay. Ah, Philippines. Um, como esta? <laughs> I love Filipino silver, so that means there's probably a bunch of Philippines. Yep, Philippine. Philippines. 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 I mean, look at the condition, guys. You know, I love my Filipino silver, and I've been finding a lot lately. Super cool. And I see, I think, something very special right here. Or at least something I don't recognize, really. I think it might be very old stuff. So, what I'm used to seeing with Philippines is this back here. But these have a different backing. You see the different design. So I'm thinking maybe these are very a lot older. Is there no date on them? 
Loads down there. Gosh. 1912? We've been minting coins for them since 1912? Wow. So some very old Philippine silver there. Very amazing. How do you guys like the new camera? Is it, is it better? Can you even tell the difference? I mean, at least I'm not overheating every 10 seconds on streams. And the last bit here is 925. So let's see what we got here. What the heck is going on? Zoom. I was just saying, how do you like the new camera? And it's not even focusing. Okay. What is this? This is a very cool coin. Carl Gustav. What is this, guys? 200KR, is that Corona? Is this Czech Republic or something? Oh yeah, this is a this is gonna be a cool one. A florin. Focus you little There we go. Florin. Australia, good day, mate. Another Australian, Florin, so two Aussie Florins, three Aussie Florins. Good day, mate. Hmm. A Canadian, 1917, wow. Don't freak out, it's, I'm leaving it focus, unfocused there because I don't want to have to refocus it on my hand. Okay. That's Australian, I can tell by that thing. That's pretty worn, not sure. Canadian, 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 Canadian. I've got multiple Canadians in different groups here, so I'm gonna have to do a little research on what Canadian is what. But ultimately, when, in my collection at home, guys, I do not have it separated by percentage, I have it separated by country. But as I get more, maybe I'll do another stream, do it by percentage. Wow. 1888. What is that? So small. I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to get a freaking magnifying glass for that Australia I really love buying these world coins and guys most LCS's never move this stuff so I always get it for spot super cool okay got a six pence here wow so here's the question, guys. That's going to be the end of this video, but what do you like better? Do you like the gold? The bar? Was that something special, the 90%? Or, I mean, the, the circulated coins, 80% down to 10%? What do you like best, guys? We got some super cool stuff. Again, a big shout-out to this shop, Liberty Gold in Maryland. And I think I'm going to blur his name on the other side of this card just because I don't want to dox him like that. I mean, you can go to the website and look him up. Super cool guy, gave me a great deal. Uh, I spent a thousand dollars there, so I'm sure he was happy. And uh, you know, the more you spend at these LCSs, the better deals you can get. And for everyone who's, excuse me, watching and doesn't know what LCS is, a local coin shop. Well, thank you for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. My first LCS in 90 days, and guess what? I'm going to another one today. I'm gonna travel back over the border um into the great state of maryland and go to another lcs that's currently open and why am i having to go to maryland because the state i'm in is currently still closed all right guys hope you enjoyed it and what do we say catch you on the next one Woohoo! tell me if this is mega